This is UOM News with Robert Cushworth. Hello, Dr. Martin Gilly, and welcome to our structures coursework. Dr. Martin Gilly of the University of Manchester is a biological structure that relies on a sturdy internal frame known as the skeleton, centred on a prominent spine. This makes Dr. Gilly one of many vertebrate animals. His skeletal structure accounts for about 20% of his body weight, however, providing most of the structural integrity. Without bones, Martin would be a fleshy pile. Bones provide a rigid framework which supports and protects his soft organs underneath. Bones work together with muscles as simple mechanical lever systems to produce body movement. With, com with a compact, strong outer layer and a hollow, spongy inner layer, the bone acts as a hollow cylinder. As opposed to a solid cylinder, most of the weight is further from the centroid, meaning for the same amount of material, the bone can resist greater loads. Therefore, this is one of the most efficient structures as it achieves the greatest strength with the minimum amount of material. The skeleton supports the body against many forces, such as body weight due to gravity, wind loading and impact forces, to name but a few. The skeleton most of the time simply supports the body against the pull of gravity. However, throughout the day, the spine actually compresses. On a Thursday, this results in Dr Gilly being 1% shorter when we say goodbye to him at 5pm than when we see him at 11am in the morning. Bone is an anisotropic, which means it reacts differently when loaded along different axes. As an adult, Gilly's bones are stronger in compression, withstanding 200 megapascals, than tension at 135 megapascals. They are weakest in shear at 65 megapascals. During movement, bones, such as the thigh bone or femur, are subjected to a bending moment, and the stresses generated by this moment account for the structure of the bone. Now we will look at an example. Martin Gilly is on an expedition in the Alps. However, he finds a climber who has fallen and tries to help him. Unfortunately, the weather is setting in and an avalanche comes tumbling over the cliff. Both men are swept away. However, Martin Gilly managed to get an ice axe in at the last second. The injured man is hanging by his leg. Let's analyse. Here we have Dr Gilly's left and right arm with tensions TA and TB respectively. The load on them is 1,962 newtons. This consists of the man's weight, 95 kilograms, Martin Gilly's weight at 85 kilograms, and the kit's weight at 20 kilograms. The angles between his arms are 70, 60, and 50 degrees respectively. To work this out, we are going to take two equations. Vertically, sine 70 times TA plus sine 50 times TB equals 1,962 newtons. Horizontally, cos 70 TA equals cos 50 TB. Resolving these, we find that TA equals 1457 newtons and TB equals 775 newtons, both of which are far less than the tensions bones can resist. So Martin Gilly will be fine. As Dr Gilly is a regular mountain climber, this will result in frequent repeated applications of load, which will fatigue the bones. If fatigue outpaces the rate of bone remodelling, this could cause a fatigue fracture. To keep his bones strong, Dr Gilly needs to undergo some routine maintenance to ensure continued structural health. These include exercising regularly, eating healthy foods rich in calcium and vitamin D. Without these, he is at risk of developing osteomalacia, which causes the bones to become soft and weak, which can lead to deformities. Dr. Gilly's bones stop growing in length between the ages of 16 and 18, but continuing to increase in density until his late 20s. However, one issue with his structure is that when Dr. Gilly reaches the age of 35, his bones will begin to lose density. This will compromise the strength of the structure and could lead to an increased risk of fractures also. To conclude, Dr. Martin Gilly is a very efficient structure, capable of resisting incredibly strong forces, and importantly, he can self-repair. So long as his structure is maintained properly, I'm sure he'll be burning down buildings for a long, long time. I'm Robert Cushworth. This has been our Structures coursework. Stay classy, Dr Gilly. Woo!